What's up guys and girls and welcome back to Brit Vapes. I'm Brit and today is Sunday so that means it is Sunday review time. If you guys are new to my channel, um, this is the time where I get to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, before we get this review started guys, would you do me a favor and just smash that like button as well as hit the subscribe button and notification bell as well guys. Let's get to the review, shall we? Okay, so the product that I will be reviewing today needs no introduction at all. It hit the market last year in 2019 by storm. Um, I am of course talking about the Profile Unity RTA guys. Um, this tank here single handedly um, converted me into a mesh lover. I used to be very cautious when it came to mesh. I mean, at the time before I went into rebuildable meshes, I was I, I believed that mesh suburb was just beautiful. It was incredible. But I thought that your mesh, like mesh RTAs and mesh RDAs needed some work. It just wasn't, I thought that the technology just wasn't quite there yet. Um, and then I tried this and I was just blown away. It is incredible, the flavor production, the cloud production, all of that. Um, but let's uh, let's let's not ruin <laughs> the review for you guys. This is not a biased review. Um, I will be giving my cons. I'll be telling everything. I'll be telling the truth about everything. What I think is good, what I think is bad. Um, but just straight up, I can tell you guys that the good does outweigh the bad. Um, in my opinion, but anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so the Profile Unity was made in collaboration with Wotofo, hashtag Mr. Just right one um, and the Vapor Chronicles. Uh, so it was a huge collaboration project, basically. Um, and then ORFR also added their next mesh wire in it, which is just astonishing. If, if you're really looking for good quality mesh strips or mesh wire, um, you will not go wrong with ORFR next mesh strips. It's, they're just fantastic quality. But anyway, so here's the box. What you get in the box is you get one um, profile Unity RTA. You get uh, one user manual, you get a bag of um, Japanese cotton that's got the aglet on it and it's, it's I think it's six millimeter diameter so that it fits perfectly with your mesh uh, strip, with your mesh, with your mesh build. Um, then you get one bag of Next Mesh A1 Canthal mesh strips. Um, you get one glass tube adapter which is basically your extender for your for your bigger glass you get extra one one bag of extra screws and um, extra o-rings uh, you get one mesh tool uh, to bend your mesh strip so that it fits perfectly within the, the build deck you get one screwdriver you get and you get one extension glass which is a 5 mil glass it changes from 3.5 to 5 mil i've already got this i've already got it on here so this is what the 5 mil is um let's get up close and personal with this tank see how it operates how why this tank is as good a tank as what they say it is alrighty so here we have the profile unity rta um, as you guys can see, I've got the rainbow color. Um, they do also come in blue, gold, gunmetal, stainless steel, and black. Um, but yeah, so let's get in. Let, let's start from the top of the tank, and we'll work our way down to the to the build deck. So at the very top, we've got the drip tip. So this is a Regular 810, well not a regular 810, it is an 810 drip tip that comes with the tank. 
Um, as you can see, it's a resin drip tip and it's quite thick. Now, I love the fact that it's thick because it provides um, a much cooler vape. Well, not a much cooler vape, but it's not so hot on the lips. It doesn't get hot. Um, as well as the fact that it's actually quite soft and comfortable on the lips. So it provides a very comfortable vaping experience. Um, that just slots into there. Then the next, the next thing to talk about is the top cap. So um, to rem it's, I love this part because it's very simple to work. Um, to open it up, all you do, so from tight, all you do is unscrew anti-clockwise and just pull it off. As simple as that. As you can see, there's these little notches over here and notches over there. That's where it sits in. Very simple. You don't have any threads to worry about or anything like that. I, I love that. Um, and also, as you can see, you've got these, you've got the, the juice holes over here. They're long and very thin. And if you look carefully, you can see that it's actually slanted around the edge over here. So it helps the juice go in. Now I must say guys, do not try and fill this tank very quickly, otherwise what will end up happening is the juice um, will overflow into here and it will then leak down into your chamber uh, where the coil, the coil chamber is and it will either leak out of your juice holes or you will get ridiculously hot spitting when vaping and with mesh that is it's just a ridiculously uncomfortable vaping experience. Um, so to put this back on, all you do, stick it on. It doesn't matter if you don't get the things right. If you don't get it like connected immediately. All you do, stick it on. You see, as you can see, I haven't got those in. So you just clockwise, it'll pop down and you twist. Very simple. So it doesn't matter how it is. You, you'll get used to it after a while, as long as it's aligned and you just just did it. And there we go. That's that's how you um, open it up and close it. It's very very simple. Now, if we move down to the airflow, um, I I love this airflow. It's very um, you've got a nice range. So with it being fully open, you've got quite an airy sort of vape, and you just close it up. Got a f if you just close it, there we go, it's just a bit tight at the moment, you get more restricted vape and it gets quite restricted as well. Um, so a very, very nice variety of airflow options there. Um, one thing I must say guys, um, if, if any of you have noticed, what does this tank remind you of guys? Um, it reminds me a lot of the Geek Vape Blitzen RTA. Um, that very classic, classic tank, but it, th this, this design and the look of the Unity is almost exactly the same as the Blitzen. So just a, just a cool thing that I, I noticed um, about the, the Unity. Okay, so now if we get to the build deck, to open this up, all you do is unscrew. Now, just a note, this can be difficult if you've over tightened it or if there's any cotton that's stuck in the threads. Um, but you loosen, 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 and then you'll notice that it'll just keep doing that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pull it out like that. Um, and there we go. As you can see, it's got these notches over here. That's where you're gonna align it when putting it back on. So you're just gonna do that, align them, and voila. And then you just screw it back on. Um, this is a con to me. I find that this becomes a nuisance because you have to keep, whenever you want to re-wick or something, you have to remove your tank from the device in order to unscrew it, otherwise, it just doesn't happen, doesn't work, because this ring over here is actually separate from your from the the 510 screw. So once this is screwed on and it's screwed onto your device, you can't unscrew this, you can't move this because this is tight. Um, so it just doesn't work. 
so you need to actually remove your mod so that you can unscrew it it's it's a bit of a pain um but yeah it 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 i guess it's it's just a new thing that a lot of tanks have been doing lately um now cool fact about this build deck guys if you look at it um it is so so cool fact about this build deck is that wotofo took the profile rda build um they they the, the rda build deck and optimized it to make it a tank so it's exactly the same build deck as what's on the profile RDA, um, which I think it's actually pretty cool because that means, I mean, your your RDA in general, RDAs in general give great flavor, give great cloud production. They're very easy to build and wick on. Um, so it's quite nice that they've kind of taken the that, that sort of design and just put it into a tank. Um, that's, I, I think it's quite smart. The setup for your mesh RTAs, all of them, very, very easy. It's very simple to set it up. Uh, but let's set it up and I'll show you how to set it up, how to wick it and all that. Okay, so first things first is we get our mesh strip. So we get our mesh strip. Um, I am using Vandy Vape M coils, the um, stainless steel ones so uh, I, I find these are pretty nice um, they are a bit thin um, they're difficult to use in that um, I do m prefer to use the next mesh strips but this is what I've got um, then what you do is you take your Wotofo mesh tool that you got in the box now you see there are two thicknesses you want to use this thickness over here. You want to use this side. You do not want to use this side. The side's way too thin. I'm actually not sure what this side is for. Maybe it's to help round the coil if you bend it a bit. But yeah, this is your important side. So you take your mesh strip and you just bend it. Just bend it around there. Now generally with your canthal or your nichrome wire mesh strips it's a bit thicker so it tends to stay whereas with the stainless steel it does kind of bend out but it's got the just of the shape okay so now we grab our screwdriver and just loosen these guys another con about this build deck though guys is i really wish that they made these these over here spring loaded because they can become a nuisance when trying to put the coil in. They can get in the way sometimes. Um, so that's just one thing I, I wish that Wotofo did was just make those. And that's why I like the, the Kylan M so much is because they made them spring loaded. And it just makes setup just a little bit easier okay so there we go set up nice and easy um, remember guys because this is mesh we do not need to pre fire it it is there's not going to be any hot spots on this so no need to pre fire it pre firing it does risk you burning the coil so just be cautious if you do end up pre-firing it that you do not burn melt basically melt the coil um so yeah let's let's wick this guy now wicking this tank there are many different ways to wick this tank um P there there are some people that prefer just using the regular mesh why there is different people, there's a whole bunch of different ways. Um, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to get into the way that I found works best for me. Um, and that method is the damming method. Now, I found this method through watching Vaping with Vix review on the um, Profile Unity. If you guys want to check that out, I will leave the link for that video down in the description below. Um, but that's, so, so... 
basically my way of doing it is I've, I've taken his method, his, the, the damning method, and I've just adjusted it a bit. Because I found that with his way, it's very finicky. Um, you, you can either get it right, or you can get it horribly wrong. And there's a very, very thin line where that, that is. So let's, let's show you my method of how I do it, of, of how I do it. Alrighty, okay, so that is much better. Um, okay, so first things first is we need our cotton. Um, now, if you've got it, if you've bought it new, you've already got the cotton right. Um, it's, you just use that pre, that, um, basically pre-aglited, pre-ready to go sort of cotton that you get with it. That, that I always advise using first. It's phenomenal, makes it easy to wick, um, but if you don't have that anymore, if you've used it already, then you need to get a nice thick piece of cotton, which I'm gonna use this over here. Looks a bit messy. It's actually a couple threads of cotton that I've used for regular, regular coils. So let's just roll this together. I hope this is gonna be thick enough. I might need to get use it an extra piece with this because it looks actually you know what at the end it should be fun okay so we do this we stick it through like with all rebuildable atomizers guys to get the right size all you need to do is make sure that it's a snug fit it mustn't be too tight but it mustn't be too loose either so this will work perfect so now what you do you grab your scissors and you're going to cut in between the, the outer edge and also the cage. So if you saw earlier, and the, so, the, so the inner cage. So over here, yes, it's so difficult to see this, guys. So, so here, so you're going to cut the cotton in between the outer ring and this part over here. So you're going to be cutting it roughly about in in the middle a little bit harder to to get right it takes a lot more practice so just be warned guys this can be a difficult method okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take something thin um, and you're gonna thin out the edges of the cotton you want to do it by quite a bit but you don't want to do it too much otherwise it's going to leak because you're not going to have enough cotton to dam it and there's going to be gaps and it's just it's it's not fun because you lose tanks at a time so i'm going to quickly thin this out Okay, so once you've thinned out your cotton and you've trimmed the edges like this, then what you're going to do is you're going to take um, the juice that you're going to prime your tank with. And you're going to then basically prime your cotton now. Okay, so you prime it like this. So what I do is I'll do it on the sides because you don't want to lose this shape. It's almost like bow tie kind of shape because it makes the next step harder if you lose that shape. So you're gonna wet that, let it soak in and repeat until the cotton is wet all the way through. Um, I'm gonna speed this up and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, there we go guys. Okay, so now that we've primed the cotton, so the next step is to push the cotton into the juice holes over here. So now what we do is we're just gonna push from the bottom, we're gonna push the cotton into the hole. So just nudge it in from the base. Now the reason why we do it like this, why we do it from the bottom up, 
is so that we can ensure that all of the cotton, all the edge of the cotton is facing down into the dam because that then ensures more flavor and just a better performance in terms of um, the vape experience. So we're just going to do that. Make sure that it is filling up the entire top part, basically creating a dam. Now once this is done, what you're going to do, as you can see, there's quite a bit filling up there. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push the cotton back up. Make sure that it is covering that whole base part. Now th what this then does is it creates a dam, hence the work Hence why we call it the damming method. And then it creates a dam down at the base over here. And it's sorted. So that's what it's supposed to look like when it's done. I'm going to do the other side quickly. And there we go guys, it is now wicked and ready to rumble. Um, now all you need to do is just put the tank back together. So we remove this part, like so, take this part, like, remember I said that goes there. A good indicator as well is you see these holes over here. Look carefully, you'll see there, that's where the juice enters in, you're going to align those with the sides of the cotton so boop, and that just goes on and you screw it on like that and there we go guys your profile unity is now set up um, now all that's left to do is fill it up and vape let's get back up to my gorgeous face and we shall see how she performs okay guys so here we are She's all set up, I've got juice in her, we're ready to go. Um, like I said, I've got the stainless steel in here, in the stainless steel mesh coil in here. So I've got it set on 420 degrees Fahrenheit uh, on temperature control. Um, yeah, let's see how it performs. So I should have, um, I should have like done the whole cotton, cotton thing. So basically what you do is once you've primed it, you just fire up the cotton. Basically make sure that the cotton taste is not there. I'm getting a lot of the cotton taste at the moment. Um, but that's like I said, because I've just wicked it. It's still brand new cotton. The, the juice still needs to um, kind of burn in. But, no dry hits, no spitting, no leaking, perfect. Um, I believe once the, f once it, the flavor actually comes through passes, past the, the cotton taste, once the cotton taste has been burnt out, um, I know from experience the flavor from this guy is going to be just phenomenal. Really, really good flavor, cloud production. huge amount of club production guys it's really good really good performing tank this but um, let's go over to my pro let's go through my pros and cons of the profile unity so pro number one um, the drip tip the drip tip is a really comfortable drip tip it provides a nice cool um, sort of experience so you you don't burn your lips if you're vaping on a very high wattage which you should not be doing anyway because it's mesh 
Um, it really depends on the mesh though. You could be, you, if you have some thick nichrome, you might be able to run it at a higher wattage. But you'll never be running over like 100 watts with mesh. So it should never get to the point where it's too hot. But this drip tip still does perform really well. It's a very nice performing drip tip. Um, pro number two the top cap design so when filling when unscrewing it and screwing it there's no threads to worry about so um, it's it's really nice to just screw it on and screw it off with no hassle so that's that's pro number two so pro number three is the flavor and cloud production is phenomenal they're both really really good it's a fantastic performing tank all round um, I love this tank it's truly great tank that that Wotofo brought out uh, well done guys and then pro number four is the range of airflow so if you like a restricted vape all you need to do is just close up some of the holes and you've got that restricted vape if you like that open sort of flow that the turbulent sort of vape you fill it you open it up completely and you get a very decent you don't get extremely turbulent which is quite nice. I don't like an extremely turbulent vape because it kind of kills the flavor. Um, but you get enough air that you can produce a lot of cloud. Um, as you saw. So here's, here's the difference. I mean, that's, that's completely open. If I close it up a bit, as you can see, I'm on two holes. So I was originally on five holes. Now this is two holes. See, so still a decent, so so still a decent amount of cloud production, but it's a, it, as you can hear, it's a lot quieter, a lot smoother, a lot more restrictive. I personally prefer it to be completely open though. Because you can pull as long as you want without having that fear of getting a dry hit because it's getting too hot inside because there's a lot of heat buildup when with with less air so that's just it's my fear of, of going too restricted um, that's my pros now let's go over my cons guys because I do have a few cons con number one the way you have to unscrew the build deck from the tank. Um, I really don't like the, the that whole slot and lock position. I don't like those because you have to remove your tank from your mod in order to rewick. It's a pain. It's a nuisance. Guys, manufacturers, please stop doing that. Just stick to the screw where you can leave the base on the mod and you don't have to worry about it because a lot of mods nowadays, they, they constantly, you have to put in New, say if it's whether it's a new coil or old coil, it's just a nuisance. Just please stop doing that, guys. Just keep to the hole. You just you you just have to screw it and unscrew it. You don't have to worry about any locks or anything like that. I don't know why what what difference it makes. Maybe if one of you one of you viewers know why, please let me know down in the comment section why that is. Um, because I I don't like it. I find it's just it's it's a waste. Um. But that, that's, that's con number one. Con number two, number two, is um, the wicking is very finicky. Um, you've got that very fine, that very, very fine line between wicking it right and wicking it wrong. And it can take a lot of practice and you can waste a lot of juice trying to get that right. Um, I know, personally, it, it took me a good two months before I got this wicking right. So uh, just be warned guys, it does take a while to get to get used to the whole wicking style. Um, so yeah, that's that's my card number two. And that that's and that's it guys. Um, my overall thoughts on this tank, if you are an experienced vapor and you've been working with a lot of rebuildable tanks and that I'd advise getting the, the Profile Unity, it's a phenomenal tank, very good flavor, very good cloud production, the, the airflow is very nice, very comfortable, 
um, but if you are not experienced in that sort of thing in rebuilding tanks and that I advise against getting the profile unity You'd rather get yourself the Kylan M as it's a lot more forgiving when wicking it um, so yeah if, if you are experienced definitely get the profile unity if you're not rather get the Kylan M it's that that's that's how you choose between the two yeah so that's it for today guys and girls thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like um, also leave a comment subscribe hit that notification bell share this video guys if you enjoyed it and you want other people to if you know people who have the profile unity and have put it aside because they they just can't get the wicking right or they're looking at whether to get the profile unity or the kind of m uh, please share this video guys i'd really appreciate that also if you have any thoughts on the profile unity um just let me know down the com leave a comment down in the comment section below about that if you guys would like to contact me privately you can contact me through facebook or instagram i'll leave the links down in the description for those as well as if you guys would like to support me um i'll also uh support me if you guys would like to support me financially so that i can get more things to review for you guys um, I will leave the link for my patreon down in the description below as well um, guys, please um, Also support the vaping community through vaping saved my life um, You can either go through to their website at www.vsml.co.za or you can check out their Facebook page um, support them by hitting that like button on their page and following them um, as well as helping the community by signing the petition, you'll find that petition on the on their Facebook page. I will also leave links in the description for the petition, for their Facebook page, and for their website down in the description below, guys. Otherwise, thanks so much for joining me again, guys, and until next time, cheers!